Is Code Llama better than GPT-4 for programming tasks? So, Find, an AI startup, has actually fine-tuned Code Llama 34 billion parameter models and Code Llama 34 billion Python model okay, on their internal fine data set. And this has achieved 67.6% and 69.5% pass at the rate 1 on human eval. Okay, this is much better than GPT-4 which has 67% on this particular benchmark. So to ensure validity, they applied OpenAI's decontamination methodology to their data set. And the latest model, which is the find code llama 34 billion parameters v2 it achieves 73.8 percent pass at the rate one on human eval okay so this shows that on the benchmark this fine-tuned version of code llama with just 34 billion parameter uh, parameters achieves much better result than gpt4 okay so how did they do this they fine-tuned both the models on a proprietary data set of approximately 80k high quality programming problems and solutions. Instead of code completion examples, they made use of instruction answer pairs. Okay, thereby it is different from human eval. Okay, they trained this fine models over two epochs for a total of 160k examples. LoRa was not used. So this actually underwent a native fine tuning. Okay. Uh, they also employed deep speed zero and flash intention to train these models in three hours using 32 a GB GPUs with a sequence level of 4096 tokens. So this shows the power of open source models, right? So once code llama was released and it was made open source, Immediately, these people were able to train it and fine tune it on another data set, and now it beats GPT 4 on certain benchmarks. Okay, and what they did was the V2 version was initialized from the V1 version and trained on an additional 1.5 billion additional tokens. So, this is quite amazing that an open source model can now be on par with GPT 4. Okay, on a particular data set for programming tasks. Okay, so what they did was they used OpenAI's decontamination methodology to ensure that their data set did not have, you know, contamination. So what is contamination over here? So this model is evaluated on a particular um, human eval data set. So there shouldn't be overlap between examples present in human eval and their training data set. Okay, that's what they did over here. Right. Uh, and this methodology uh, is uh, put over here it is about for each evaluation example they randomly sampled three substrings of 50 characters uh, or uh, used uh, if the entire if you know if uh, the example is shorter than uh, 50 characters then the entire evaluation example is uh, checked out okay and what they do is that uh, if a match was identified uh, if any sample substring was a substring of the process training example then they remove that training example okay that's what they have done over here to, you know, decontaminate their training data set. Okay. So, yeah, this is again the results. Uh, this model is available on Hugging Face. Okay. So, what I did over here was I tried, uh, you know, giving this particular system prompt. So, the format they have put over here, you know, system prompt, a user message, and then the response from the assistant. So, I tried this over here with their, uh, you know, uh, completion text generation hosted inference API, uh, whereby I uh, gave this as input. Okay. And after submitting multiple times, I got this code for this problem. This problem is given a string is yes, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So I got this particular code and then I tried out this and I try out the code with the online Python 3 compiler or interpreter. And here I gave my string as, you know, this string, hello world, how are you? And when I run this, it gives, you know, the longest substring as uh, as of length 9 without repeating characters. And if you look at it, it starts from this 
R character R L D H O W A sorry it starts from this one L D H O W A R E Y right one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so that is the longest substring so it gives this answer i found this interesting video from matthew berman uh, which talks about you know real use cases where he compares gpt4 and code llama this fine tuned version of code llama to see how it performs so you can check out this video as well i'll be putting the link to the find models you can check that out this is quite an exciting development that you could fine tune an open source much smaller model and you know it performs equivalent to gpt4 or better than gpt4 on certain coding tasks i hope you find this video useful if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video